Love stories, magazines, children's books. It's all trash. Well, at least it used to be. Now it's been saved and given a new lease on life. And the knights in shining armor are the garbage men from Ankara. Every night they go through hundreds of tons of trash, much thoughtlessly thrown away, and keep on finding books. <laughs> At least some people are careful and put the books next to the trash cans instead of in them. Usually we get fiction or school books, but sometimes we even get foreign books. The books they find don't land in the waste compactors. Instead, they get sent to reading rooms, located in an old brick factory at the garbage dump. Workers decide whether the books should be cleaned or repaired. Their boss came up with the idea during a routine inspection of the site. We saw a plastic bag full of books just lying there. And we thought we could turn this into something useful for our colleagues. And it worked. I'm very happy about this. They started collecting books two years ago, and now they've got 20,000. The reading rooms were originally conceived as a place for garbage collectors to spend their break time. But now they're open to everyone. The library is a labor of love. I used to only read once in a while. But this beautiful location tempts me to come back often. I've always loved reading. That's why I think it's great that we have this chance to read while at work. That's truly unique. Literary garbage men, saviors of the books. The stories remind them how important their work really is. Our throwaway society has forgotten the value of objects. Everything you see here, chairs, tables, paintings, has been recycled. But they don't just give books a second life. The trash collectors have also founded a music collective they call the Tin Drum Group. They want to show that even the most thankless job can promote knowledge and creativity. That's the positive message being spread by the garbage men of Ankara.